But hello, beautiful people. So, sorry, I'm out of breath because I just took my dog out. <laughs> anyway, the Lord has put it on my heart to um, do these prophecies that he gave me from March 11th, probably just till the end of March. Um, I, I don't think I'll have time <clears throat> in the video with my phone storage to do all the way through April. But I claim that Jesus Christ is the son of God, that he was born a virgin, and he uh, came to the earth in the flesh as a man, and he died on the cross, and he rose on the third day. Okay, so I'm going to get right to it, because this is going to be like the longest video ever. But it's all for God, because he's awesome. <clears throat> okay, March 11, 2023. First, he gave me 1 Thessalonians 2.8. So affectionately longing for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives because you had become dear to us. Also, guys, real quick, ignore the Telegram people and the WhatsApp people that say write me. They're just trying to scam you for a fake or orphanage in the comments. <coughs> Excuse me, I just ate, so I'm like all stuffy. Okay, Mark 4.9. And he said to them, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Luke 2, 11, for there is born to you this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. James 3, 7, for every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. John 4, 12, <clears throat> are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and his livestock? Just a reminder, all of these prophecies, he's talking to non-believers, believers, his chosen ones, and the Jews. <clears throat> and here's a message. My child, I am coming soon. I have given you chance after chance, but all you do is defy me. You are broken and your heart is hardened, and you won't come to me to give you rest. Why do you seek death? Why do you seek destruction? Don't you know my arms are stretched out towards you and disregard them? And I'm sorry, don't you know my arms are stretched out towards you and you disregard them and disregard me? Oh, how I wish you would come to me. There's ominous skies and it's going to get worse. My people seek protection from me and their eyes are open. They see and they believe in my words. Do you not see the evidence all around you? Obama is rising. I told you he would. Chaos and destruction is here. <clears throat> do you see the troops lining up? Do you still think there is no war coming? Oh, ye little faith, you will wake up eventually, but unfortunately it will be too late. I already know who are with me and who is against me. I see everyone's heart and I am in control of everyone's soul. Why do you deny me? Oil lamps, are they full? Have you prayed to me today? Have you worshipped me today? Have you spoke to me today? Have you read my words today? <clears throat> People will perish for their lack of knowledge. Holy Spirit is knowledge and truth. Don't just read, listen to the Spirit. Let Him show you truths. My people are waiting for me and they look up every day. Are you looking up every day? Are you watching the moon? The rainbow colors in the sky, that's for me. And that did happen, guys. There was like a lot of rainbows after. It's pretty cool. People tagged me in it. Has my coming been delayed? <clears throat> oh, you little faith. Not everything meets the eye. Did I leave you signs in the heavens? Do they align with my coming? Oh, you little faith. Wake up, O oh sleeper. The people slept when the groom came. Do you not understand yet? Every day, every hour, every calendar, every time zone means something. Every sign. Do you think all of it meets the eye? You are so stubborn with your sinful nature. You scoff at your neighbor and have designed some things only the Spirit will understand. So if you aren't walking with the Holy Spirit and walking with me, you will miss everything. <clears throat> I need some water. My words of knowledge people. They try so hard to understand the meaning behind all my words and signs. I love them dearly. I am pleased with them because they are watching for me. They are trying to wake up my children. My dreamers, I come to them when they sleep. My messages are true. It will all come to pass. My visionaries, I show them the future so they can warn my people. My messages 
Oh, <clears throat> sorry. My prophets, they speak truths. Look at their fruits. My people who spread the good news and share my truths. I love you and your faithful hearts. Don't you see I love all my children? They are my sheep. They know my voice and they hear me calling them home. If you are guided by the Holy Spirit, you are walking with me. Follow me. Pick up your cross and I will show you the way. Guantanamo Bay is coming and once it happens, you will understand why. Don't question my prophets. They speak my words. They speak my truths. Rain. Lots of rain. There are reasons I say these things. I'm trying to warn you because I don't want anyone to perish. Is it real rain? <clears throat> First comes rain, then comes war. Italy. My child destruction and chaos is coming. Jamestown will get an explosion. Now, I don't know where in Jamestown he's talking about. I don't know if he's talking about like New York. I don't know if there's a New York, but you know, any, like in the United States or like in Europe. <clears throat> okay. Not just a train, a municipal building. Darkness, it's here. Evil lurking everywhere. Do you feel a tug in your spirit? Do you feel uneased and not relaxed? The enemy is distracting you. You look to me for comfort and peace, and I will bring a peace over you you have never felt before. Galatians 4.11 I am afraid for you, lest I have labored for you in vain. Uh, <clears throat> small Pittsburgh. It's a little small message. Pittsburgh, the earth will shake. I have warned and warned. Time to perform my word. Deuteronomy 6.9 you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Philippians 2.8 And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Job 16.5 But I would strengthen you with my mouth, and the comfort of my lips would rele relieve your grief. Genesis 28.3 May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you that you may be an assembly of peoples. Matthew 6, 19, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. <clears throat> First Peter 4, 11, if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies. That in all things, God may be glorified, glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom being the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> that was kind of cool because someone had commented being an oracle of God and I didn't know what it was. And then the next day, the Lord gave me that scripture. Second Peter 2 13 <clears throat> and will receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who count it pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are spots and blemishes carousing in their own deceptions while they feast with you. Here's another message. Digital currency is here. You haven't seen it yet, but it's coming. Why are you buying gold? Did they tell you to buy gold? Test every spirit. They are not all from me. I told you Obama would be on CNN. So Obama was on CNN. Um, he did the pursuit of excellence, and then they accidentally named him the president, the press, president secretary, she said, President Obama, oh, pardon, President Biden. <laughs> so they, you know, they're, he's, he's rising behind the scenes. Um, okay. Uh, the global parade. Did you see North Korea? Uh, do you, I'm sorry, did you see Korea? I don't think you put in North, but I thought I heard that in my head. So he may have done, he may have said North, but I have Korea on my paper. So either one, I think it may have been North Korea though. Cause every time I read that, I hear North in my head. So <laughs> do you see the Baphomet statues all over? This whole world is now producing evil. My judgment is here. Keep looking up children. Cognitive disruption is coming and it's not cyberspace attacks. It's my interference to give you more time. If I didn't want to save you, I wouldn't have intervened. 
I love you, my children, and I am coming. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess I am Lord. I hear you, children. I hear your prayers. Oh, how I love my faithful ones. You strive to please me because of the love you have for me. You have no ill will or bad intentions. You love your neighbor and you correct your neighbor out of love and compassion. Keep looking up. Your redemption draws nigh. I am with you. When two or more speak in my name, I declare and decree my will will be done. <clears throat> my lost children, come to me. Let me give you rest. Believe in me. Confess your sins to me and I will forgive you. My Jews, oh, I love my Jews, but some hearts are so hardened and they wait for a Messiah. But I have already shed my blood on the cross for them. Oh, how I wish they would open their hearts to me. <coughs> Sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. <clears> throat. And let me save them. I just had Mexican, so. <laughs> Jeremiah 5, 9. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Exodus 21, 5. But if the servant plainly says, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Ecclesiastes 2.11 Then I looked on all the works that my hands had done and on the labor in which I had toiled, and indeed all was vanity and grasping for the wind. There was no profit under the sun. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. <laughs> Numbers 5.11 And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying... Okay, that was the first message. The next message, March 13th. Colossians 2, 6. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Philippians 1, 7. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. <clears throat> Ephesians 2 5. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, by grace you have been saved. Matthew 7 9. <clears throat> Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Judges 4, 6. Then she sent and called for Barak, the son of Abinoam from Kedesh in Nephetali, and said to him, Has not the Lord God of Israel commanded, Go and deploy troops at Mount Tabor, take with you ten thousand men of the sons of Naphtali and of the sons of Zebulun? Esther 5 8. <clears throat> if I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my requests, then let the king and Haman come to the banquet which I will prepare for them, and tomorrow I will do as the king has said. <clears throat> Esther 4 11. All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that any man or woman who goes into the inner court to the king who has not been called, he has but one law, put all to death, except the one to whom the king holds out the golden scepter that he may live. Yet I myself have not been called to go into the king these 30 days. <clears throat> okay, my child. Purim, not all meets the eye. I have designed my dates in my calendar and they have twisted it. The enemy is preparing for this day. They know what's coming. I knew from the beginning that they would twist my words and my days and make new calendars. There's a reason why I say nobody knows the day or the hour of my return. Because it's impossible to know. The Holy Spirit knows because the Father knows. Do you know who the Father is? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Have you called on me? Have you listened to my words? Carefully read them and listen and don't be misguided by your own biblical teachings. They will never amount <clears throat> to what the Holy Spirit knows. If you walk within the Spirit, he will give you truths. I will give you truths. 
I am coming, my child. Are you ready for my arrival? I love all my children, but disappointment lies in my heart for the ones who do not forgive and for the ones who do not love their neighbor. I love you, my children, and the words that I have spoken will come to pass. Unfortunately, what you think you know is wrong. They have lied and twisted everything. What you think you have always known is false. Have you asked me for the true meaning behind my words? Do not question my teachings. There is a reason I am revealing my plans. I am trying to save you. My prophets hear me and they speak my truths. Why are you still denying the truth? Why are you still denying me? I created the heavens and the earth and with faith, it can all come crashing down. Are you looking up? Your redemption draws nigh. Are you waiting for my return? Purim, do you know the correct date? Does it match my original day? My words of knowledge, people, they seek me. They listen to the Holy Spirit and he guides them to truth. Are you listening to the Holy Spirit? Are you guided by the truth? The seventh trumpet, but how many trumpets have sounded already? There are reasons people say they have heard the trumpets. Yes, I want you to test everything, but do not rely on your own understanding. Rely on the truth and my words that I give and be guided by the Holy Spirit. Every word I tell my prophets to speak means something. A man will never be able to understand the words that I have given him on his own unless he speaks unless he seeks the holy spirit for guidance i have a sword coming for those who have twisted my words who have misled my children i have the sword coming for those who do not forgive who do not lay their lives down for me and trust in me i am love i am gentle I am kind, but my will will be done. You think this is pleading and begging? No, this is mercy for your souls. I have given up everything for you to for you to have eternal life and you still do not believe. You twist my words, you scoff at your neighbor and you have no love inside your heart. I know everyone's heart, and I know if you produce good fruit. Does a rotten branch produce good fruit? Love is patient, and love is kind. Are you patient and kind, or do you let the root of all evil misguide you? Do you think of heavenly things, or do you think of earthly things? I have given you warning after warning, and you have chosen to disregard them. My prophets deliver my messages because they are true at heart and they love you because I love you. They are all obedient and they wish for no one to perish. I wish for no one to perish and I am speaking through them. I put the words in their mouth and they obey because they are obedient. John 4, 6. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. Colossians 3, 7. In which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. 1 Peter 2, 8. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble, being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. Leviticus 5, 9. Then he shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar, and the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. <clears throat> Genesis 4.13 And Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Exodus 2.12 So he looked this way and that way, and when he saw no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Here's a message. Wake up, children, wake up, because time is truly, because time truly is almost up. 
Every tongue will confess and every knee shall bow. I am Lord and I am your God and the evil all around you is increasing. I'm trying to save you from it. It's going to get much worse. Do not fall away and do not stop listening. Pray to me, seek me, worship me and believe in me and confess your sins to me and I will forgive you. I am your Adonai. I am your rescuer. I am your deliverer. And I have spoken. Jeremiah 2 9. Therefore, I will yet bring charges against you, says the Lord, and against your children's children, I will bring charges. Jeremiah 29 5. Build houses and dwell in them, plant gardens and eat their fruit. Philippians 1 8. For God is my witness, how greatly I long for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. Genesis 2 7 and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being Revelation 8 6 so the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound <clears throat> Revelation 4 11 <clears throat> you are worthy O Lord to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they exist and were created Faces it to me. Revelation 3 5. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess <coughs> his name before my Father and before his angels. John 3 8. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the spirit. <coughs> okay. So it's freezing in my house again. I came home and I turned on the heat. It's on 69, but I'm not normal apparently. Can't get warm. March 15th, Ephesians 2, 7. That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Colossians 1.5 Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. F um, <clears throat> Philippians 4.8 Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So before I go on, something just popped in my head when I was reading Colossians 1.5 and I saw a video of this girl that I follow and she's awesome. And she talked about how there's different scriptures talking about being in heaven and then, you know, talking about the end when God creates the new world on earth. So there has to be a rapture before the second coming because there are scriptures literally talking about my father has um, many rooms and I've prepared a place for you. Um, and then that verse right there laid up for you in heaven. There's hope in heaven. You know, I mean, I saw the video and those weren't the verses she used, but it reminded me of it. Um, I can't remember her tag name, but anyway, she's, she's awesome. I've, I've shared her before. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the thing. Jeremiah 1, 7. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth for you shall go to all to whom I send you and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Ain't that the truth? Okay. <laughs> um, here's the message. I'm coming, my child. I'm coming. Please warn them. No one knows my time or my hour. No one knows my time or hour, but I am coming soon. Soon, what is the root word of soon? You know my season is here. Are your oil lamps full? Are you waiting for me or are you waiting for my arrival? Or are you still stuck in this world? Many people have called on me and many are still lost. I speak truths, yet they cannot see the strong delusion over their eyes. Believing in me and trusting in me is the only way to break that delusion. My warnings are final and my warnings are almost done. Disaster. There are lots of disasters coming. The world has not been fully shaken yet, but it will be soon. 
the banks. It's just the first part. There is way more to come. There will be more collapses. <clears throat> Can you not see the signs all around you? Are you awake yet? My children. Well, that was a question mark. Are you awake yet? My children. <laughs> Alaska. They are going to get hit pretty hard financially. France and Italy. This is just the beginning. There's more coming. A government takeover and chaos and riots in the street. Now that did happen, guys, in France. There was riots in the street. And what's crazy is March 2nd, he told me the wages were going to go up in France. That's what the riots were about. The uh, retirement wages went up. I don't know anything about that, but <clears throat> that's what I heard. <clears throat> okay, back to it. Um, France and Italy, this is just the beginning. There's more coming. Government takeover and chaos and riots in the street. Are you looking up? Do you see what I have been doing? I warn you because I love you. I delay because I love you. But do you love me? Do you believe in me? What are the desires of your heart? Are they for me or are they against me? Do you know what it's like to truly love your neighbor? Why do you mock them? Why do you scoff at them? Digital currency is making a way. There are many banks that have already signed off on it and the media won't tell you this, but it's all happening right under your noses and the money will be worth nothing soon. You will have to be a part of their system. <laughs> Some of you have no idea what's coming. My believers, they know I'm coming for them. They have faced many trials and tribulations already, and they have endured to the end by still worshiping me. They haven't sold their souls, and they understand what it's like to love. They understand what it's like to trust. My word is true, and I said no hair shall be lost. There is no trickery or deceit. These are warnings to wake you up. These are warnings because I love you and I'm trying to save you. <clears throat> Do you want to be left behind and die for my glory? Faith. Do you have any? Just believe in me, trust in me, and I will save you. Then he gave me Ephesians 2.11. Therefore, remember that you once Gentiles in the flesh who were called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision made in the flesh by hands. 1 Peter 2.4. Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. Colossians 3.7 in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. Numbers 4, 9. And they shall take a blue cloth and cover the lamp stand of the light with its lamps, the wick trimmers, its trays, and all its oil vessels, which they service it. Jeremiah 7, 3. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways and doing, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Zechariah 12, 8. In that day, the Lord will defend inhabitants of Jerusalem. The one who is feeble among them in that day shall be like David, and the house of David shall be like God, like the angel of the Lord before them. Philippians 2, 9. Therefore, God has all has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Revelation 7 7. I just switch hands. <laughs> My hand was hurt. I need one of those holders. I think I have one somewhere. Um, of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12, 000, Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. So he showed me that, guys. He showed me the remaining alive are the um, Israel, the 12 tribes. You know those are because you got to think about who's going to survive tribulation not not many <laughs> not many people especially not christians so you have to think about well who's going to be the remaining alive well the ones that are protected by god with the seals on their forehead uh, stuff that i couldn't get on my own okay um uh, let's see where i am okay <laughs> okay 
so I there's a message I told you my earth would shake Denver um, and Massachusetts is next I will destroy all idolatry witchcraft and sorcery and I will not be mocked by my children Brazil they thought they could mock me but I won't stand for that there's more coming for them my judgment is here more disasters all around you but if you trust in me I will keep you safe there's still so much doubt in your hearts I see everything I know everything from the very beginning and I know when the last person will be saved before my arrival it is soon and they have already been chosen and they have already been written in the Lamb's book of life and nobody can take them from me. No angels nor demons can snatch them out of my hand. I will give you eternal life. Hebrews 6, 5 And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. Habakkuk 1, 12 are you from everlasting, O oh, Lord, my God, my Holy One? We shall not die, O oh, Lord. You have appointed them for judgment. O oh, Rock, you have marked them for correction. Habakkuk 1.9 They all come for violence. Their faces are set like the east wind. They gather captives like sand. Colossians 3.4 When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Deuteronomy 4.11 Then you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire to the mist of heaven, with darkness, cloud, and thick darkness. Job 5.8 But as for me, I would seek God, and to God I would commit my cause. 2 Peter 2.6 And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterward would live ungodly. John 4, 11. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? See, guys, Jesus, he's the living water. Baptism under him. <clears throat> Isaiah 5, 7. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah are his pleasant plant. He looked for justice, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a cry for help. Isaiah 1, three, The ox knows its owner and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not consider. First Chronicles 2.9 also the sons of Hezron who were born to him were Jeremiel, Ram, and Shalubai. Habakkuk 2.8 Because you have plundered many nations, all the remnant of the people shall plunder you. Because of men's blood and the violence of the land and the city and of all who dwell in it. Deuteronomy 3.14 Jer the son of Manasseh took all the region of Archbab. Argob, as far as the border of the Jishurites and the Mayakotites, and called Bashan after his own name, Havah Jera to this day. Okay. March 17th. Torn, let me see if I can put the phone like this. Let's see if, that's, if it'll stay. I think it'll stay. Awesome. Okay. Woo. My arms were getting tired. Okay. March 17, 2023. Philippians 1, 7. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all because I have you in my heart and as much as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Proverbs 3, 11. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord nor detest its correction. His correction. The little screen's a little blurry, so I can take that off. There. That's a little better. Okay. Um, Revelation 1 9. John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation, kingdom, and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Joshua 3 8. You shall command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, 
when you have come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, you shall stand in the Jordan. 1 Peter 2, 6. Therefore, it is also contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion, Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Here's a message. <clears throat> My child, destruction, mass destruction is coming. Oh, ye little faith, I have spoken my words. The angel will sound the trumpets. Obama will sign a peace treaty. The end is near. You think it's just the harvest of souls and I am not coming? Oh, ye little faith, wake up, O oh sleeper. I am coming like a thief in the night. Numbers, my numbers mean something. Concordance means something. Test everything. Don't assume every word means what you have always known. I have meanings behind everything. Deception. Deception lies with the root of all evil. You have been warned. I give you warnings and you still don't believe. My Pharisees didn't believe either. They scoffed and mocked me. You always ask for one more sign. You will never be satisfied because your hearts have been hardened. Every word spoken, you will see all of this come to pass very soon. Do you know what's been happening? Are you following my signs? Earthquakes, mudslides, sinkholes, tornadoes, cyclones. I told you all of this will come. And these are the contractions. And, and these are the contractions deliverance and these are the contractions i think i wrote that down wrong <laughs> i told you all of this will come and these are the contractions oh yeah that's just period i'm retarded okay <laughs> deliverance comma i never do commas i'm terrible <laughs> do you want to be delivered or do you want to experience my wrath fire and brimstone there is a lot more coming alaska the financial system will collapse. No more assistant. It's coming. Geneva, do you know what Bible that is? My true words and look at the concordance. And look, guys, I bought the Geneva. It's um, really quick. 1560 edition. It's really hard to read because the F's are S's. I mean, yeah, the F's are S's. The V's are U's. And there's some other things in there, but you really just have to pray to the Holy Spirit and be like, okay, Jesus, I need you to read these words for me. And, and then all of a sudden you just start reading it. It's pretty cool. Okay. First uh, Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Matthew 25, 9. But the wise answered, saying, No less there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. He's talking about the oil there, guys. Genesis 16, 13. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees, for she said, Have I also here seen him who sees me? Exodus 14, 9. So the Egyptians pursued them, all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army, and overtook them, camping by the sea besides Pi-Heroth before Baal-Zephon. <clears throat> 1 John 1, six. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Ephesians 3 8. To me, who am less than the least of all the saints, the grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Okay. Uh, Colossians 1 5. Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, again, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Jeremiah 2.11 Has a nation changed its gods, which are not gods? But my people have changed their glory, for what does not profit? 
Judges 3.13 Then he gathered to himself the people of Ammon and Amalek, went and defeated Israel, and took possession of the city of Palms. John 3.5 Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And again, guys, you know, the guy on the cross, he didn't have time to get baptized. So trusting in Jesus and believing in him. But it's always good to get baptized. I mean, you, you want to show that you love the Lord, you know. So. John eleven three. Therefore, the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. Galatians 5, 8. This persuasion does not come from him who calls you. <clears throat> okay. I have so many papers in the office. Okay. March 18th, 2023. Deuteronomy 3, 6. And we utterly destroyed them as we did to Sihon, king of Heshbon, utterly destroyed the men, women, and children of every city. Verse Peter 2, 4. Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. Philippians 3, 7. Um, but what things were gained to me? These I have counted lost for Christ. Okay, Job 9, 8. He alone spreads out the heavens and treads on the waves of the sea. Genesis 7, 11. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. Hmm, that's interesting. The second month on the 15th. Whoa, that's so crazy. So do you remember when God gave me February 15th? And that just like stuck out. Whoa, the midnight cry. That's awesome. Okay, <laughs> I get excited. Um, but that says the second month, This, but that says the 17th day. Okay, well, close enough, 15, 17. So I guess I was a little wrong on that, but that's still really cool. Um, and maybe it's like the 16th. You know, you gave me April 16th for a reason. Um, 16th in Israel, but I guess it would be the 17th here. I don't know interesting because he always follows Israel okay I'll be quiet now <laughs> um okay so here we go the um the message is my child Nibiru and SpaceX does not meet the eye Wormwood I told you it will come it's soon and a third of the people will die trains my child more trains are coming what's weird about that guys is there's a movie out um with brad pitt and i saw a video um after i posted this message and someone tagged me in it and it had something to do with a water bottle that was poisoned on the train and a serpent snake was on the train as well and i can't remember what it's called um but but anyway, so it it was um, tying in with the code words of the devil, the wormwood, serpent, all that stuff. So I find it very interesting that he said, wormwood here, third of people will die. And then he talks about trains right after that. I don't know if that's a coincidence. That's pretty cool. I think he just kind of foiled the em en enemy's plan there. Okay, trains, my child. More trains are coming. Kentucky, New Mexico, Ireland, New Jersey. And Kentucky did have a train derailment, I believe. Uh, it was... I think I wrote, wrote it down. Kentucky, that's tornadoes. There's been so many. It's hard to... Um, uh, train derailments. Kentucky, March 16th, and he gave me that on, uh, let's see, train derailments, okay, so March 8th, I need to look and see when that happened, March 16th, so it would have been March 18th that I put it on there, anyway, we have to look it up, I don't know if it came true yet, but we'll see, someone tagged me in it, so, okay, Kentucky, New Mexico, Ireland, 
New Jersey. They are all going to derail New England Church on Fire. Well, that happened last night, guys. Um, the Massachusetts burning happened last night. Okay. Um, Christian protests and persecution. Wake up, my child. Wake up. Time is almost up. My door is closing. Don't you know I'm coming for you? That my word is true. Everything that I have said shall come to pass. Are my timelines the same? Do you even understand it? Do you even know what it's all about? You are broken, my child, and you are so busy caught up in your neighbor's business that you don't even see the speck in your own eye. You are deceitful and wicked. You search the scriptures and you act like you know me, but you don't. I have a sword coming for you. Death will swallow you up. There's no more mercy for your souls. My time is coming to an end. My patience has run out. I will no longer withhold. The desires of the devil infiltrated in you and you speak blasphemy. You scoff at your neighbor and you just won't quit. Where is the love? Where is the love in your heart? Where is the love for your neighbor? How dare you twist all of my words? Do you even know what my words really mean? Are you so stubborn and wicked to see the truth? Your eyes seek tautiness, your hearts seek blood, and revenge you will not escape my wrath. My chosen ones will... What do I do with it? I don't want to get these out of order. Escape my wrath, and they know that I am coming for them. Even the elite knows that I am coming for them. Why do you think they have their bunkers ready? Do you have any idea what's coming for you? Wormwood, do you think this is all a coincidence? No, it is written in my word. I'm giving you chance after chance to repent, to change your mind, and come to me. I am giving you chance after chance to believe in me. I wish for no one to perish. I love all of my children, but this evil sickens me and poisons the mind of my children. It must be stopped. Your souls are weak. Your souls are lost. My prophets speak truth, all of them. Look at their fruits. You will know who my real prophets are by the words they speak. If anyone speaks that I am not coming for them, and my will is for my children to suffer persecution and tribulation, it is not of me. And I think he means great tribulation there, guys. Um, they may have once been chosen by me, but they are no longer receiving my words. They need to continue to test every, every, every spirit, every message. The devil is on the prowl, and he is whispering in my children's ears, and he's lying to them. He is full of trickery and deceit. He will stop at nothing until every single soul is perished. He doesn't forgive. He doesn't love. He is full of jealousy and animosity, and he pretends to be loving and kind, but he is the opposite of my love. He is the opposite of my truth, and he will destroy every last one of you if you let him. I'm going to try to um, clean off the screen. It's bugging me, like the blurriness. Oh, that's so much better. I need to clean more. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see. Where was I at? Um, they need to continue to test every spirit, every message. Devil's on the prowl, and he's whispering in my children's ears, and he's lying to them. He's full of trickery and deceit. He will stop at nothing until every single soul is perished. Okay, I said all that, but that's all right. He doesn't forgive. He doesn't love. He's full of jealousy and animosity and pretends to be loving and kind, but he is the opposite of my love. He is the opposite of my truth, and he will destroy every last one of you if you let him. Pray to me. Believe in me. Worship me. Let me give you truths. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, he will steer you in the right direction. If you decide not to believe in me, sadly you will fall. 
The whole world will fall. There's no more time. Are you awake yet? You have been warned. My bride, my children, my elect, my chosen ones, your days will be shortened. You have nothing to fear. You are awake, but so many of you are still asleep. Wake up, O oh sleeper, time is up. The groom came and the people slept. The wise virgins had remained full of oil in their lamps. Sadly, the rest are too late. Lord, Lord, let us sin. But I never knew you. Pray to me so you can see the truth. Um, why can't you see the love I have for all of you? Why can't you see that I'm pouring out my heart to you? Why do you deny me over and over and over again? I created you. I shed my blood for you and I died for you. And yet you still do not believe. Where are your hearts, my children? Where are your hearts? Wake up. I am coming. I am coming. My trumpets are going to sound. I am coming like a thief in the night, and you will not know what happened, and you will be devastated and left in despair, and you will cry out to me, but it will be too late because the door has closed, and the only way to receive another opening to me is to die for my glory and refuse the mark. The beast system is set up behind the scenes it is ready to go and once the restrainer is moved is moved once my removed once my church is gone it will be in full effect and fully enforced why can't you see that i'm pouring my heart out to you why can't you see that i'm trying to save you why do you wish for my wrath to come upon you? My chosen ones, they have suffered, they have lost, they have been broken, yet they do not deny me. They still believe and they still follow me. The devil stole their peace and their life was falling apart, but they stayed true to me and they worship me. And for that reason, they will inherit their reward in heaven. Because they solely trusted in me, I will protect them. My words are true. My words are final. And I use my people to warn you. I use my people to spread my words, to share my words, to save my children. Makes me sad. My people who share the good news from the prophets, from the dreamers, from the visionaries, they share my good news to wake up my children. That is the gift I chose for them. I have chosen many different gifts for my children. I have no favorites. It's all according to my purpose and my plan from the beginning. Chosen and precious and ready to honor my will. Matthew 27, 6. But the chief priests took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful to put them into the treasury because they are the price of blood. Matthew 25, 4. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Matthew 25, 9. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. Acts 2, 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days says God that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And then he gave me Joel 1 5. Awake you drunkards and weep and wail all you drinkers of wine because of the new wine for it has been cut off from your mouth. Colossians 1.7 oh, Are you also learned from Ephraphus, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf? Ecclesiastes 3.5 A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. 2 Thessalonians 3 5. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. 2 Thessalonians 2 5. 
Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? Ecclesiastes 7.3 Sorrow is better than laughter, for by a sad countenance the heart is made better. Deuteronomy 11.5 What he did for you in the wilderness until you came to this place. And here is the message. The Prince of Peace is calling you home. I am calling you home. I have sounded the warnings. I do nothing without revealing it to my prophets first. The ones who don't know me, I see you. I know your burdens. I know your pain. If you come to me, I will give you rest. I will give you peace. I will give you comfort. If you come to me and believe in me, and confess with your mouth that I am Lord, I will save you. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, I am Lord. There is no escaping from that. Believe in me. Let me save you, my child. You do not know me. Confess your sins to me. Believe in me. I wish for no one to perish. I want to save you. I love you, my children. I love you and my heart is broken. And I am the only one who can save you. I am the truth, the way, the life, and nobody can come to the Father except through me. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Wake up, my children. There's no more time. Second Thessalonians 3.8 nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but work with labor and toil night and day, that we may not be a burden to any of you. Second Thessalonians, no, I'm sorry, Romans 3, 9. What then? Are we better than they? Not at all. For we have previously charged both Jews and Greeks that they are all under sin. Romans 7, 8. But sin, taking opportunity by the commandment, produced in me all manner of evil desire. For apart from the law, sin was dead. You guys get that? You know, he took away our sins. Verse John 1, 5. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. See, when you're not under Jesus and you're not believing in him, you're still in darkness. You're still under the law. <clears throat> Philippians 1.4 Always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you all with joy. John 4.11 The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? He's trying to tell you guys he's the living water. John 5.10 The Jews therefore said to him who was cursed, It is the Sabbath. <clears throat> it is not lawful for you to carry your bed. Revelation 8.7 The first angel sounded, and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. You know, back to the, the Sabbath one. He healed on the Sabbath, guys. He's, he wanted to do that to his children versus follow a law that says you can't do anything on the Sabbath day. He felt it was more important to, to heal somebody than to follow the the law. So think about it when you're preaching the laws to people and not under his grace. <clears throat> okay. Revelation 8, 7. The first angel sounded and hail and fire followed. Did I just say that one? Yeah, I did that one already. Sorry. Revelation 8, 11. My, my husband's TV is so loud. I think he's watching a movie and he has one of those like surround speakers. <laughs> Sorry, it goes through the wall. I apologize. I don't know where else to go, though. <laughs> There's parts of the movie where it gets, like, really loud. Okay. Revelation 8, 11. 
The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. <clears throat> and then Numbers 9 5. And they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month at twilight in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did. So again, with that, let's see, what was it? The, the first month of the 14th day. Well, we don't know what calendar in. I saw the other day that we just got in on April 1st in 2023. So I don't know. God hasn't revealed that to me yet, but he said the movie will reveal that. So I'm looking for it every day. And let me know when you guys see it. Okay, March 20th, 2023. <clears throat> Philippians 1.8. For God is my witness, how greatly I long for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. Job 17.5. He who speaks flattery to his friends, even the eyes of this of his children will fail. Second Peter two fifteen. They have forsaken the right way and gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Second Peter two thirteen. And will receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who count it pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are spots and blemishes, carousing in their own deceptions while they feast with you. Leviticus 1.14 And if the burnt sacrifice of his offering to the Lord is of birds, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or young pigeons. Leviticus 1.7 The sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire on the altar, and lay the wood in order on the fire. So you have to understand, you know, the <clears throat> in the Old Testament, that's how they did it. Before Jesus became the offering, they had offerings in the Old Testament. And if you're not under Jesus, you know, it's impossible to do the Ten Commandments on your own. This is why they had to keep sacrificing things until Jesus came. And then there's no more sacrifices. Okay, Jeremiah 7, 12. But go now to my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people, Israel. Exodus three thirteen. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? Okay, and here's the message. I think he's watching like a superhero movie. I don't know. It's really loud. Sorry. My child, I told you they were setting everything up for the new world order. I told you it was coming. They will say it's a way to unify the nations for a one world government system. It's going to promote peace and prosperity. Lies, all lies. And when all the major banks crash, the smaller ones will be forced to cooperate to the new system. They have been doing everything behind the scenes, but it's all coming to light. You are going to see a lot of changes in the government here soon. New World Order brought to light now and positions will be changing. The cabal takedown is real, and it is happening, but it leads into deception. I told you they have twisted my words to make them mean something else. I am coming, my child. So what he means by that, guys, is there's been, a, like I said, he reads the comments. It's amazing. <laughs> but there's been people saying that, no, no, he's not coming. It's just a takedown of the cabal and he's gonna, they're going to renew and it's going to be a better world and stuff. That's a deception. He's coming. And um, so when he, when a bunch of people kept commenting on that, he gave me this message. Um, I'm coming, my child, and I can't wait to be with my children. The wedding feast, are you prepared for it? There's still more time, but my door is closing. 
Trump setting him up to fall, just like I said. So he gave me this message. Um, I don't remember. I'd have to look it on my phone. But he gave it to me a while ago about um, them setting up Trump and now he's getting arrested and all that stuff. He may have already gotten indicted and I don't know. I don't ever follow the news, but I remember someone talking about it on TikTok. That's my news, TikTok. <laughs> so, but I haven't followed it, so I don't know if they've actually arrested him or anything. But they're setting him up to fall. Now, he's not good. He's just like the lesser of two evils, but he's part of the, the, the plan in the end. He talks about that later. Um, okay. Trump set him up to fall, just like I said. Distraction, my child, distraction. They don't want you to see the truth. Spiritual blindness is happening. Spiritual darkness is happening. So I, this next one, I forgot the word don't. And he let me know, the Lord let me know about it. And I think another Christian brother let me know about it too. So we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. And, but the principalities of darkness, it's going to keep increasing. They will call him the savior, but he is not. The major player behind their end game of control and civilization will be revealed. It's all set in motion. Trump will be set up and blamed for the cabal takedown. He is a part of it, but not the sole reason for the government shakedown. The anarchy and the divisions of the systems will offer restitution and financial security, but it will be denied for the sole purpose of system changes. Now, I looked up the restitution. That means money. Okay. They will say Trump is behind it and he is evil and start referencing him as the Antichrist, calling it the Christian Rebellion. What's weird, guys, is I have been seeing a lot of videos about people talking about how Trump is the Antichrist. And I know Obama is because God gave me a dream, and then he confirmed it when I talked about the dream. He shook me in the middle of the video and gave me six scriptures. And then he's given me message after message after message so i know he's the antichrist he even said that the antichrist spirit falls on him in another message um so but they're making it look like trump is the antichrist to you know throw people off because they're gonna line up and trust obama it's all part of their plan that's all lies and deception obama will appear to the world as the new savior as martial law commences, he will create a system to unite all the nations under one currency. FEMA camps, if you aren't a part of their system, you will be forced to live in them. They will take you by force from your home. If you rebel, you will be shot on sight. Delusion, my child, such strong delusioning, delusion happening everywhere. I have allowed it all to commence. My judgment's here. Once my door closes, you will suffer through tribulation. I think he's talking about the great tribulation again. And many and my new believers will be witnessing and revivals will break out everywhere. Spiritual gifts will be divided among the believers and won't be stopped until they are forced to die under the swords to honor my glory. Now, this he told me um, Sardis and Laodicea, the two lampstands, the two olive trees were the witnesses, but they have the spirit of Elijah and Enoch. And then I remember reading something about how Elijah has the power to rain down the fire from heaven. And it's interesting because God had said fire would rain down from the heaven. <laughs> and another message. Revelation 6, 5. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, come and see. So I looked and behold a black horse. And he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. Sorry, I'm reading really slow because people have asked me to slow down. And it's hard for me, if I post things on TikTok, I can't slow down because I have like a 10 minute time limit. So it's hard, but 
now I'm not going on TikTok because this is too long. So I'll be as slow as you like me to. <laughs> Mark 4, 9. And he said to them, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Revelation 12, 5. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and his throne. And he showed me that, guys. He showed me, you know, the child's Jesus, but he's, but it's also symbolizing his chosen ones because the dragon tries to devour the rest of them because the woman flees to the wilderness, which is showing the Israelites, the 12 tribes. And it says he, the dragon goes after the rest of them. Well, the rest of them are the witnesses because the chosen ones were caught up. It's another rapture thing. Revelation 7, 9. After these things, I looked, and behold, a great multitude, which no one could number of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands. And then, guys, if you also look at um, the two witnesses, Sardis and Laodicea, that paragraph, oh, sorry, it's in my eye, it's mascara. Or sparkles. I wear sparkles every day because I love glitter. <laughs> um, but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the white robes in is in the paragraph in Revelation under Laodicea and the, the Sardis Church. The only ones mentioning the white robes. Oh, it's hurting me. Okay, Revelation thirteen five. Oh, it's gonna bug me. I shouldn't have rubbed my eye. See, sparkles. <laughs> I love glitter. Okay. And he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And he was given authority to continue for 42 months. Okay, here's a message. I am the true Savior, your Jehovah, your Adonai. Do not fall for their lies. Even the elect may be deceived if it were possible, but it's not possible. My true believers know my voice. They heed my warnings and hear me speaking. My prophets speak truth, no trickery and deceit. Plans have already been made. They're even working up setting up the zones. Social distancing because of the new pandemic they are releasing. I told you martial law is coming, and it is. Lots of people will have to move to these areas just so they will not be affected by the water and the hazardous breathing from the air. It is part of their plan and it is on purpose. He's talking about all the train derailments and all the um, things happening all over the world um, with that. Because he told me before the train derailments happened in January that fires in the cities were coming and that's been happening everywhere now and then he told me february 15th how they're poisoning the water and the air and the train derailments just started then on the second okay um let's see it's part of their plan and it is on purpose you're going to see a lot more derailments here soon it's going to increase rapidly because now the plan has been set in motion full swing and it's not just going to be derailments. There will be more chemical spills, oil spills, and it will be too hazardous for you to stay in your homes. And there have been oil spills here lately. Government seizing is coming. Eminent domain is coming. So eminent domain is when they take your property um, and they offer you money. The government seizes your property and offer you money. But then it says, but there is no restitution because of the system changes. So when I looked up restitution, that means money. But they're not going to give you money. They're just going to take it. It's going to be very bad in the end times. <laughs> um, do you think everything you own now is yours? Most of that has already been sold. Their system and plan is you will own nothing and be happy. I'm going to take my church out of here soon. I will not let them endure this evil. When my church is gone, and guys, church is his believers, his chosen ones, his elect. He's, he switches words sometimes. When my church is gone, you will see things vamp up very fast. 
This is just the beginning. There's so much more that is coming. My child, wake up. Do you have any idea what they're planning and what they are doing? Um, ran out of ink over here, I think. If you have ears to hear, listen, learn. Everything I'm telling my prophets is going to come to pass. I told you there would be a derailment in Kentucky. There's a reason Trump is behind. Wait, there's a reason Trump is behind Guantanamo Bay. Everything I say has a purpose. Listen carefully and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal my plans and my teachings. And maybe it was sent to Guantanamo Bay. I don't know. I think I think I wrote that wrong, but okay. Anyway, Titus 1 7. For a bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not self willed, not quick tempered, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money. Ezekiel seventeen five. Then he took some of the seed of the land whew, sorry, and planted it in a fertile fertile field field he placed it by abundant waters and set it like a willow tree revelation 19 5 then a voice came from the throne saying praise our god all you his servants and those who fear him both small and great philippians 3 7 but what things were gained to me these i have counted loss for christ ecclesiastes 4 5 the fool folds his hands and consumes his own flesh that's creepy. Okay, and here's a message. Do you see what they're doing, my child? The bank's crisis is also part of their plan. The money will be worth nothing soon. In order to have anything, you will have to be a part of their system. Pandemic is increasing, and you will hear a lot more about that soon, which is true. We've been hearing a lot about that lately with the fungus and all that stuff. And he told me about that. And he said that it wasn't just Marburg virus. He First he said the pandemic was coming. And then um, that was before Marburg virus was talked about. I know they talked about that like in 2016 because I was Googling it. It's kind of how I get my information, which is horrible because Google censors everything. But um, anyway, so let me stop rambling. And it said, um, but well, you will have to be part of their system. Pandemic is increasing and you will hear a lot more about that soon. Another one is coming, not just Marburg virus. So he told me in a previous video that um, SARS respiratory virus is coming again. And then the fungus. Amos 7, 8. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, a plumb line. Then the Lord said, behold, I'm setting a plumb line in the midst of my people, Israel. I will not pass by them anymore. 1 Corinthians 3, 9. For we are God's fellow workers. Sorry. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. 1 Timothy 3, 8. Likewise, deacons must be reverent, not double-tongued, not given too much wine, not greedy for money. Ecclesiastes 4.11 Again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? Is, I think that might be representing, you know, Jesus maybe. I don't know. You guys would know more about that than me. But, you know, that kind of seems like it would be something he'd say. Matthew 9.17 Because, you know, we all need him. No one wants to be alone. Nor do they put new wine into old wineskins, or else the wineskins break. The wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But they put new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. Here's a message. The oil prices will increase. There's going to be a huge spill. Truckers won't be able to get diesel. They want you to rely on them. So he told me in a previous message that oil prices were going to go to $7 or an up. Okay. The government to assist you in your dependence will be solely on them for your food, for your water, and for your clean air. And then I saw somebody told me that the oil prices already went to $6 in some places so far. So it's coming. Sorry. 
Oh, children, I wish you could see what I can see. Tribulation has not started yet. Again, I think he's talking about great tribulation. But it's coming. It will start and you are going to see Obama in power. So I think why he's saying um, the tribulation because he's saying it because some people are saying that it has started, but they're not actually saying the word great tribulation. They're just saying tribulation. So I think that's why he's leaving out great to make a point. But I don't know. I'm not God. <laughs> just something I thought of. Um, <clears throat> but it's coming. It will start. You are going to see Obama in power. He will no longer be behind the scenes. Once chaos hits everywhere, his leadership role will be known. FEMA camps. It's part of their plan. Your freedoms are over. It's time to wake up, children. My people will not endure tribulation. I'm keeping them from that horror. I wish for all to be saved and no one to perish. So come to me. Believe in me. Confess with your mouth that I am Lord and I will save you. You haven't seen evil yet, not compared to what is coming. Listen to my prophets, listen to my dreamers, listen to my visionaries, listen to my people spreading the gospel. Listen to them, they are speaking truths. You will know them by their fruits. You will know them by the words that they speak. Test everything, rely on the Holy Spirit to give you understanding. Do not rely on your own biblical teachings and understanding of men. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the Holy Spirit is the only way to discern the truth. I love you, my children. I am pouring my heart out to you. Why do you seek destruction? Why are you looking for my wrath? Trust in me to save you. If you rely on the law and your own works, you are cursed. If you are still under the law, you are cursed. I created the new covenant to save you. My will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You follow my commandments because you love me. You walk in the spirit to seek me. You worship me and pray to me because you trust me. Now, what are his greatest commandments? Love thy Lord God. Love thy Lord neighbor. Put your faith and trust in me. Do not deny me. Come to me and I will give you rest. I am your redeemer, your rescuer, and I have spoken. Galatians 5.13 For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. I think I am going to need coffee. Someone mentioned that today. <laughs> Got tired all of a sudden. Ugh, takes so much out of me. Ugh, but I love you, Lord. Okay, Galatians 5.22, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. 1 Thessalonians 4.8, therefore he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. Revelation 22.5, there shall be no night there. They need no lamp nor light of the sun, for the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Jeremiah 7, 3. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Hebrews eleven six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. John 3, 7, do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. John fourteen five. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how can we know the way? James 3, 7. For every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. Luke 4.11 And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Okay. We're getting a little closer. March 22nd, 2023. Philippians 2.5 Let 
the mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. 1 Samuel 14.3 Ahijah, the son of Ahitub, Ichabod's brother, the son of Phinaz, the son of Eli, the Lord's priest in Shiloh, was wearing an ephod, but the people did not know that Jonathan had gone. Jeremiah 4.8 for this clothe yourself with sackcloth, lament and well, for the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned back from us. Philippians 1 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Okay, here is um, the, the message. I'm so sorry. I know I'm making everyone yawn. When I was little, I'd be in choir practice and I would start yawning just to see if a boy was looking at me. And that was like my trick. I'd be like, oh. and then I look over and he wasn't yawning. I was like, dang, he doesn't like me. I think I was like 10, 11 maybe. I don't know. Okay, there's a message. My child, the ending is coming. My trumpets will sound. It's not too late to come to me. I am your redeemer. I am your protector. You come to me and I will give you rest. I love you, my children. My heart is breaking. No one will ever love you as much as I love you. My child, don't deny me. Did you not see all that I have done for you? I have moved mountains for you. You have triumphed through darkness because I hold your hand. Many of you have suffered. Many of you have willfully rejected my love. All you have to do is believe in me and trust in me and I will save you. Times are going to get very dark. Uh oh, I might need to get my, my phone charger. Times are going to get very dark. I won't be there to guide you. Man hasn't seen how terrible it's going to be. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. The end is near tribulation will start the players have united all the plans have been made it's about to set in motion and darkness will come darkness will overcome the whole world electrical magnetic pause is coming blackouts everywhere i'm calling you up it's not too late pray to me worship me believe in me and i will save you war is coming it is so soon when the nukes go up you go up then martial law, Obama in power. The sky is luminous. I am shaking the heavens. I am shaking the earth. The rock is falling. Meteorites, pieces of fragments falling. I heard that's supposed to come on the 20th, by the way. Someone tagged me after I posted this. The angel of light will appear. Darkness will overcome the world. Stay in your homes. Pray to me without ceasing. I'm speaking to my my new believers. The church will be gone. Revivals all over through the spirit of Elijah and Enoch. Have you relied on your own self, your own works to save you? My doors open. My believers will have the key of David with their wedding garments. Self, your... Hold on, I can't read my hand. With their wedding garments on. Oh, tragedy for the ones left. It was so easy. All you had to do was trust and believe in me. But you let your pride get in the way. Your selfish desires to control every situation. But I know everything you need before you even speak a word. You pray to me. Lean on me and the Holy Spirit for understanding. Okay, guys, give me two seconds. I just have to grab my charger so the phone doesn't die. Okay, and I got some water. <laughs> I wish I knew how to like edit. I'm like terrible at this stuff. So YouTube has been deleting comments or approving comments and 
it started, I thought it started ever since I downloaded YouTube Studio, because I was trying to edit a video, but then I couldn't figure out it wasn't working. So I edited it from my iPhone. But as soon as I downloaded that thing, they have been taking my comments and um, let's see if this will stay. I might have to get. They've been taking my comments and approving some, and so people keep asking me, why are you deleting comments? But I'm not. Oh, okay, good, there it goes. So I don't even see some of the comments. People will say, well, why haven't you answered my question? I'm like, what question? <laughs> and I try to go through all the comments, um, but I'm not seeing some. And then I go to try to approve things, and I click on it, and then it does nothing. So I don't know. Either I'm just terrible at technology, which could be the case, but, or YouTube is just because I'm a Christian trying to stop the truth. Okay. Colossians 1.8, who also declared to us your love in the spirit. First Peter 2.12, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. 2 Thessalonians 1 9. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. 1 John 4 6. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Daniel 9 5. We have sinned and committed iniquity. We have done wickedly and rebelled even by departing from your precepts and your judgments. Hebrews 2.8. You have put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that in not put under him. But now we do not yet see all things put under him. Amos 4.5. Offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving with leaven. Proclaim and announce the free will offerings for this you love, your children of Israel, says the Lord God. 1 Samuel 11, 4. So the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul and told the news in the hearing of the people. And all the people lifted up their voices and wept. And Exodus 14, 3. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Okay, and here's the message. My child, I knit you in your mother's womb. I know the number of hairs on your head. Missing people everywhere. Chaos and destruction. Depart from me. I never knew you. You who practice inequity. My wrath is here for the ones who don't believe in me to save them. My wrath is here for the wicked. My judgment is here. This world is about to shake. The new pandemic. It's not just the fungus. It's SARS respiratory virus required V. Which is that? Enforcing you to permanent lockdowns, freedoms are gone. One world government will be announced after Harpazo. Time is short, my elect. My children, my little ones, I won't hold you accountable. My heart is with you. You speak my words, childlike faith. They know I am coming for them. All my children with childlike faith knows I am coming for them. Why do you wish for my wrath? Why do you wish for my destruction? Did my prophets not warn you? Did my dreamers not warn you? Did my visionaries not warn you? Did the people spreading my words and the words of knowledge not warn you? Did you listen? Did you heed my warnings? For the ones who mock my coming, I have more than the sword coming for you. Oh, you wicked men, how dare you twist my words? Hope is in harpazo and resurrection. Perfect love cast out all fears. Don't let the evil ones lie to you. They don't know me and I don't know them. They are not watching for me. I told you to watch for my arrival. Are you watching for me? I told you to look up. Are you looking up? Are you watching the moon, the heavens? Signs in the heavens match my coming. I love you, my children, and I wish for no one to perish. But you're lost and you're broken and you're foolish. No oil in your lamps. The groom came and you missed my coming. 
the people slept. Wake up, O sleeper. Hiroshima, but much worse than that. And then he gave me Zechariah 6, 5. And the angel answered and said to me, These are four spirits of heaven who go out from their station before the Lord of the earth, of all the earth. Matthew 5, 11. Blessed are you when they revile and, revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Mark 1, 5. Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Luke 13, 9. And if it bears fruit, well, but if not, after that you can cut it down. Genesis 4, 9. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? <clears throat> John 7, 3, his brothers therefore said to him, depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also may see the works that you are doing. John 5, 6, when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? Um, Leviticus 14.3, and the priest shall go out of the camp, and the priest shall examine him, and indeed, if the leprosy is healed in the leper, Revelation 19.9, then he said to me, write, blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb, and he said to me, these are the true sayings of God. Romans 5, 9, <clears throat> much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. So guys, those two verses right there, he's literally showing you to become in the wedding party that you're saving him, you're saving us through the wrath. It can't get any more clear than that. Okay, <clears throat> March 23rd, 2023, 1 Peter 2.11. Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Ephesians 3, 7. Of which I become a minister according to the gift of the grace of God, given to me by the effective working of his power. Luke 3, 9. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Here's the message. My child, don't worry. There are reasons I say things to you. There are reasons I give you these signs. I love you, my children. Oh, I feel like I just sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was really loud. I sneeze very loud. That and then I like hiccup sometimes really uncontrollably. Usually after I eat, it's like a digestive thing. I think acid reflux. I'm trying to wake you up. Remember, I said Purim. It hasn't passed yet. My calendars, my original dates have been changed. They have changed everything. The comet, it's green. Look up. Redemption draws nigh. The sun, the moon, the stars. They are in Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, signs in the heavens. Now, before you guys say that, it's astrology. It's not. It's astronomy. And the Lord gave us signs in the heavens in his word. And the devil, of course, mimics everything God does and made it bad. And horoscopes and made it bad and all that stuff. Because horoscopes, you know, witch, witchcraft, sorcery and all that stuff. That's not what signs in the heavens are. <clears throat> okay. Constellation has been turned upside down. It has been changed. The light in the sky are my angels. Trumpets sounding, all lined up, ready to blow. What's crazy is I looked outside. There's so many stars all lined up tonight. It was so pretty. I thought of that line. Oh, my children, why do you deny me? Why can't you see the love I have for you? I'm trying to save you. Horror is coming. The great tribulation is coming. Tribulation has started for my Christians. Trials and persecutions are going to increase. It's not happening everywhere, but it will come. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not boast, does not keep an account of right and wrongs. Love one another. Love your neighbor. 
forgive one another. How can you love me, but don't love your brother who you have seen? I left you signs in my word. Are you heeding them? First Thessalonians 4, 5. Not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. First Thessalonians 1, 8. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith toward God has gone out, so that we do not need to say anything. <clears throat> James 3.11 Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Philippians 3.5 Circumcise the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law, a Pharisee. Okay, here's the message. My child, darkness is here. Spiritual warfare is here. Solar storms, electrical storms coming. Blackouts, EMP coming. I have warned and warned and warned time to perform my word. So many of you are still listening to Lucifer lies. He whispers in your ear and causes confusion and disruption. He is the father of lies and he is using you to deter new believers from believing in me. Woe to the person who makes another child stumble and leads them to deception. It would have been better for them not to have been born. Signs after signs after signs, how many have to come true before you believe? Oh, you little faith, you have been lied to. Oh, you little faith, you let darkness creep in. I told you if you come to me, I would give you rest. I told you if you believe in me, I will save you. Give me your heart, child. I'm the only one who can save you. Soon you will see my word is true. Everything I say means something. I am deliberate and forthcoming, and my words have a deeper meaning you won't understand. Wisdom is from the Holy Spirit. Are you guided by the Holy Spirit? Seek me, seek my words, my true words, and I will give you understanding. Pray to me, worship me. Witchcraft, it is increasing. Lucifer is behind it. He's calling all witches to stir up dark magic and try to stop the believers. That is so true, guys. Literally, the day after I posted this message, somebody emailed me nine emails, and there was nothing in the subject, it, and I blocked this person, but it was in the, um, or there's nothing in the paragraph, just in the subject, and it was the F word, the B word, the C word, all of that, all of that at me, and then they said, I know who you are, and you're beep Jesus. They used the F word again. So I was like, whoa, that was definitely demonic. So I, I deleted them, but anyway, that happened the day after. So the Lord obviously knew that was going to happen. Okay, so he said, dark magic and try to stop the believers. Spiritual warfare is heightening such mockery and it is an abomination to their soul. They are so deceived and their hearts are hardened. I will destroy all witchcraft and all sorcery. Look at the people scoffing. Do their fruits match their words? Don't let them deceive you. They are idol worshiping and they are led by a demonic presence. Now there was someone like literally um, said that literally after I said this message the next day started commenting saying the Lord said I you know I held my tongue for a while but the Lord told me to go after you now that was literally after I got this message so I don't believe that that was from the Lord but anyway let's just pray for those people okay ones you don't believe and put their faith and trust in me woe to the mother well, let's, see, let's go back. They know. Okay, much. Look at the people scoffing. Do their fruits match their words? Don't let them deceive you. They are idol worshiping and they are led by a demonic presence. My children have the light in them and they are led by the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus' clock just went off. I love that thing. Oh, he's given the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, how thou in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <laughs> I love Jesus. Okay. Um, okay, so he said, they, um, my children have the light in them, and they are led by the Holy Spirit. 
They love me. They pray to me. They know I will save them from the hour of trial I have coming on this whole world. My sword is coming for the ones who don't believe and put their faith and trust in me. Woe to the mother who is pregnant and nursing in the times ahead. Would a mother leave her child? The child got caught up as the woman flees to the wilderness. The dragon will devour the rest of them. Remember I talked about that. Who are the rest of them? Have you asked me for the meaning behind my words? Have my words been changed? Not all meets the eye. Ask the Holy Spirit for truth. I love you, my children, but my door is closing. And once it shuts, you will have to die for my glory. Jeremiah 5, 9. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? Little small message. Sin, sin, confess them to me and I will forgive you. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, I am Lord. You will hear my trumpet soon. I am your Messiah and I have spoken. <laughs> Colossians 4.8 I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. Amos 3.12 Thus says the Lord, as a shepherd takes from the mouth of a lion two legs or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out who dwell in Samaria in the corner of a bed and on the edge of a couch. Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And then he gave me Joshua 1 9. Um, oh no, that was just Joshua 1 9. Give me Philippians 3 7. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Zechariah 6 5. And the angel answered and said to me, These are four spirits of heaven who go out from their station before the Lord of all the earth. John 9 8. Therefore, the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said, It is not this he who sat and begged. It is not this he who sat and begged. 1 Thessalonians 3, 9. For what thanks can we render to God for you? For all the joy with which we rejoice for your sake before our God. 1 Peter 2, 5. You also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Here's a little message. Hiroshima. Do you know why I speak this? China, Russia, North Korea have made a deal. They are all on the same team. They will bring down the United States. Checkmate, game, set, match. It's coming. When the nukes come, you will see me in the clouds. <laughs> Ezekiel 35, 3. And say to it, Thus says the Lord, Behold, all Mount Seir, I am against you. I will stretch out my hand against you and make you most desolate. Matthew 17, 5. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Okay. Malachi 3, 5. And I will come near you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against sorcerers, against adulterers, against perjurers, against those who exploit wage earners and widows and orphans, and against those who turn away an alien, which is a stranger, someone taught me, because they do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. Exodus 14.3 For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land, the wilderness has closed them in. Jeremiah 7, 9, Will you still murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense to Baal, and walk after other gods whom you do not know? 1 John 2, 4, For he who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Love thy Lord God, love thy neighbor, guys. 
verse John 2, 8. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Third John 1, 5. Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren and for strangers. Colossians 1, 4. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints, John three fourteen, and as the Mo and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. <clears throat> I need some water. We're getting there. March twenty fifth. Okay. Colossians 3, 5. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. <clears throat> Philippians 2, 7. But made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men. Jeremiah 1, 7. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Lamentations 3, 5. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and woe. 1 Peter 1, 9. Receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Okay, and here's the message. I'm coming, my child, I'm coming. The aurora lights in the sky are showing my arrival as soon. My word is true. Everything I say means something. Don't ignore my words. Children, why do you still doubt me? Why are you so stubborn? Why are you mocking? Don't scoff at your neighbor. Love thy neighbor. Love thy Lord God. I'm coming, my child. I'm coming like a thief in the night. My people are watching for me. They are waiting for me. But some of you are not my chosen ones. You are stuck in this world. You are lukewarm and I will spit you out of my mouth. You can't love me and love the world. You are praying to other gods. I am your God. I am your Messiah. Did your other gods die for you? Lay down your idols. Did your gods give up everything for you? My children, you are lost and broken. I said, come to me if you are weary and I will give you rest. My judgment is here. The whole world is going to shake. No man has seen. My believers are tired and they are weary and they're longing for me to bring them home. I'm going to bring them home. Many of you still can't see the love that I have for you. Many of you still doubt everything that I'm saying. Why do you want my wrath to come upon you? You have been deceived, my child. Lucifer knows time is short and he's doing everything in his power to steal your soul. And some of you are letting him. You are believing in his lies, his destruction, and he's confusing you. He is the author of confusion. The, he, he's the deceiver, and he lies. That's what it was, should have said, but I had written it wrong. I wrote the deceiver of all lies, but it's the deceiver. He lies. I love you, my children. I'm trying to save you. If you believe in me and confess with your mouth that I am Lord, I will save you. Give me your heart, child. Know that I am your true Messiah and I will save you. Oh, I love you so much and I wish for no one to perish. The aurora lights will be everywhere. My whole sky is going to light up. The scroll has been passed to me and time is almost up. My door will be closing soon. Many of you say it could be years from now. Oh, you little faith, I left you the signs and my word for you to know when time was near. Yet you deny me and you deny my signs. I will not stand for this mockery. I will not stand for you hating one another. I have given up everything for you. Have you given up everything for me? I am your true Messiah. I am your true Yahweh. I am your deliverer. I am your rescuer. I am the only one that can save you. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. If you believe in me, I will give you the rest. I will give you rest. If you trust in me, I will never blot your name out of my book. No angels or demons can snatch you out of my hand. Darkness, my child. Darkness. <clears throat> Chaos, looting, rioting in the streets. The people will be missing Mexico oil spill. Someone told me that happened. I'm pretty sure. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I didn't write it down. 
Might be in the prophecy thing. I have to look. Gas prices will rise over $7. Next, food shortages. Farms will be destroyed. Indiana food supply will be shut down. This is it, my child. The Great Tribulation is about to start. They are going to start persecuting Christians after I take my chosen ones. They want you to rely on them to feed you, to give you water, to give you clean air. You will be arrested for your faith. The end is near, but it's only the beginning. California will fall. U.S. maps severed. My wrath is about to come upon the whole world. I am shaking the heavens. My door is closing. Louisiana, comma, L.A., gone. The north is going to get hit. Ice, lots of ice. Brunswick, Georgia, electrical power outages. So someone messaged me the other day and said their friend lived in Georgia, Brunswick, Georgia, and their power went out and they had the most, the highest winds and storm that they've seen in their, since they've, they've lived there, I believe is what he said. High winds over 120 miles per hour. I don't know how high the winds were. That might have been the storm or there might be more, who knows. New York City buildings fall. Toronto, Ontario, over five feet of snow. I don't think that one's come yet. Now they have gotten um, storms. But I think this is going to come, like, after the rapture. It's going to be, like, this weird snow just out of nowhere is probably what he means by that. But I'm not sure. I'm not going to interpret his messages because that gets me in trouble. Okay. Children, this is all coming. I need you to wake up. Please heed these warnings. I love you. I'm trying to save you. Pray to me. Worship me. Let me save you. I want you at the wedding feast. Believe in me and keep your oil lamps full. Time to perform my words. Oil lamps full, guys, is praying, spe you know, speaking to Jesus, you know, just worshiping, worshiping him and making him first, you know, just really all about Jesus. It's keeping your, and, and believing and trusting in him. <clears throat> keep your oil lamps full time to perform my word warnings are final first triumph with trumpets then fallen angels destroy franchises destroy oil rigs it's sodom and gomorrah triple wages coming 70 times seven darkness falls look up keep watching the moon redemption draws nigh 1 Corinthians 2.11 For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Revelation 6.12 I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood. Deuteronomy 15.8 but you shall open your hand wide to him and will only lend him sufficient for his need, whatever he needs. Revelation 8, 5. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. <coughs> Jeremiah seven eleven. Has, the ha has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, I, even I, have seen it, says the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 3.12 And may the Lord make you increase and bound in love to one another and to all, just as we do to you. Matthew 25.4 But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Ezekiel 39.5 You shall fall on the open field, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. Oh, goodness. So long. It's been two hours. <laughs> Zechariah 4, 2-3. And he said to me, What do you see? So I said, I'm looking, and there is a lampstand of solid gold with a bowl on top of it. And on the stand, seven lamps with seven pipes to the seven lamps. Two olive trees are by it, one at the right of the bowl and the other at its left. Okay. March 26th, which was my birthday. Um, Exodus 13, 15. And it came to pass when Pharaoh was stubborn about letting us go that the Lord killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beasts. Therefore, I sacrificed to the Lord 
all males that open the womb, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. Revelation 11, 9. Then those from the peoples, tribes, tongues, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into graves. Revelation 11, 4. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands standing before the God of the earth. Revelation 12, 7. Now, doesn't he talk about the, the churches being the lampstands in Revelation 11, 4? You know, I think in Revelation 2, he talks about that, the, the seven churches and the lampstands and stuff. So that's interesting. Just thought of that. I learn something new every day. <laughs> Revelation 12, 7. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. And I don't think Revelation is in order, guys, because he literally said the battle was starting. Ooh. Colossians 3, 4. And Christ, who is our life, appears, and you also will appear with him in glory. Okay, here's a message. My child, I'm coming. Things are about to turn for the worse. The drinking water will be contaminated. It's coming, my child. They want you to rely on them. Some states have already experienced this detriment, but soon it will be everywhere. April 16th, plans commence. You may not see everything they are doing because some of it will be behind the scenes. Fentanyl will be used. Mitocardin will take effect, or mitocardin will take effect. Seizures, people falling, wormwood, Chernobyl, look at who is in charge of the water. They will promote it. It's new. Do not be deceived. This will come after the rapture. When the people are gone, don't drink their water. Population control. It's their plans to depopulate the world. Look at distribution. Look who's running it, who has their pocket in it. There will be many who turn to me after Harpazo. I'm trying to protect you. Trust in me. Believe in me. I will save you. Warn my child. Warn. This is the enemy's plan. I have allowed it to happen. My judgment is here. My wrath will soon be announced all over the world. Listen to my prophets. They speak truth. Listen to my dreamers and my visionaries. I love you, my children. Please wake up. Harpazo is coming. I will take my children and my chosen ones. Once they are gone, my full wrath will come down on this world. Pestilence, famine, earthquakes, every major catastrophe you couldn't dream of. No man will survive it without my protection. Put your faith and trust in me. Let me save you. I'm your Adonai and I've spoken. So guys, that night <laughs> around four o'clock in the morning, he gave me two dreams and I didn't, I don't know exactly what time the dreams were, but so, you know, I woke up and one dream was about, you know, someone passing and seizing because of the water bottle with fentanyl in it. And another one was about me in a real estate meeting where I was trying to tell people not to have, not to drink the water, that it's going to be bad and we need to find clean water. So I woke up the first dream and I felt my, the Lord holding my hand and, um, I was like, it freaked me out because they were like my family. It was like people that are really important to me in the dream. And then I went back to sleep and that's when I dreamt the second dream. Well, then I woke up and I was praying about it. And then he said, my child, write this down. So this is what I wrote down, all that. And then in a previous message, he gave me the name of the company or what it's going to be called, Canada Fresh Water. And what's crazy is... Um, my friend after I posted this because I sent her the prophecies and a text and after I posted it she googled it and found something where they're putting like millions millions of dollars in this company Canada Fresh Water and there's like this big campaign on it and then somebody tagged me today I think it was Bonnie thank you Bonnie um about the water bottles Canada Canadian Fresh flavored water but I don't think those are the bad ones yet because I don't think the plan has commenced because he said it's going to happen after the rapture so I think they're working on the plan but it's not here yet so don't freak out about that
Deuteronomy 9.8. Also in Horeb, you provoked the Lord to wrath, so the Lord was angry enough with you to have destroyed you. Job 4.11. The old lion perishes for lack of prey, and the cubs of the lioness are scattered. <sighs> Almost 3.5. Will a bird fall into a snare on the earth? Where there's no trap for it, will a snare spring up from the earth if it has caught nothing at all? Jude 1, 4 through 9. For certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. Ungodly men who turn for grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed these who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. As Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. John 6, 4. Now the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was near. Revelation 8, 5 through 7. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, threw it to the earth, and there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood. And they were thrown to the earth, and the third of the trees were burned up, and the green grass was burned up. So I really think it's like rapture, Obama rises, martial law commences, darkness falls. But the reason why martial law is going to commence is because the war, he said, when the nukes go up, we go up. And also, I think it's going to be the big earthquake, you know, where California falls, the tsunami in uh, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean island. Because he's talked about all that stuff. I think that's all just going to like, phew. no man has seen. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. I'm so tired. Okay, March 27th. Ephesians 1 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Philippians 1 4. In him, I'm sorry, always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you all with joy. Ephesians 3 5. Which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets. John 4, 12, are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and his livestock? Numbers 12, 6, then he said, hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make himself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Message, my child, Israel will be going through some changes. The overthrow of the government will launch a martial law threat in Israel which is going to spread to the entire country. Keep an eye on Israel and watch how I protect them. Once my people are gone, they will no longer be under my protection. The seals will mark the ones I will save. Abide in me, worship me, believe in me. I will save you, confess I am Lord and I will protect you through what's coming. O oh, children, my clock is about to strike and then the hour is up. Are you looking up for my arrival? Some of you are brainwashed by lies of the media. You can't see the evil protruding through your TV screen while they try to manipulate you to believe there is no militia and overthrow of the government. The war will start and watch the nations unite. You will soon see there is a method to all of their madness, a plan in place that will change the whole world. And I saw a video the other day where Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia and Iran were no longer rivals and stuff. They were like getting together. And it's funny because when he was telling me about the GOG starting, meaning the players were forming um, and it was going to launch soon. Well, um, 
he told me the players were, you know, Turkey, Lebanon, Palestine, and Saudi Arabia. And then I believe those were the ones he said. And then he said Turkey's been defeated. And then another earthquake came the next day after he said that. And then Iran took its place. So that was interesting. Okay. Daniel 11.3. Then a mighty king shall arise who shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. Exodus 14, 6. So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Micah 4, 9. Then now why do you cry aloud? Is there no king in your midst? Has your counselor perished? For pangs have seized you like a woman in labor. <sighs> okay children another message children when are you going to wake up and see what's coming i'm using my people to warn you they share the gospel with you they speak my prophecies to you they tell their dreams they warn you through their visions but you are stuck on living in this world and idolizing things things can't save you only i can save you my wrath is coming and is volatile and you will wish you had listened I love you, but your lack of knowledge is going to make you perish. Only I can save you, but you choose not to believe in me. You choose to mock me. You choose to scoff me. You will see the sword I have coming for you. Oh, how your lack of empathy disgusts me. How your cruelty condemns your neighbor when you are supposed to love your neighbor. Where is your heart? Where is your love? Door is closing. My bride is coming home. Esther 6, 9. Then let this robe and horse be delivered to the hand of the one of the king's most noble princes, that he may array the man whom the king delights to honor. Then prayed him on horseback through the city square and proclaim before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor. Daniel 1, 7. To them the chief of the eunuchs gave names. He gave Daniel the name Belisesar to Haniah, Shadrach to Mishael, Meshach and to Azara to an Abednego. Philippians 4, 3. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel with Clement also and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Genesis 8, 6. So it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark he had made, Galatians 4.3. Even so, when we were children, we're in bondage under the elements of the world, 1 Peter 2.5. You also are living stones are being built up, a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices, accepting to God through Jesus Christ, Mark 6.8. He commanded them to take nothing for the journey except a staff no bag no bread no copper in their money belts luke 2 9 and behold an angel of the lord stood before them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid first john 4 9 in this the love of god was manifested towards us that god has sent his only begotten son into the world that we may that we might live through him oh goodness i need like energy drink got so tired all of a sudden. I don't know if I can make it. <sighs> okay. Matthew 6, 8. Therefore do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. Matthew 6, 2. Therefore when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly I say to you, they have their reward. Jeremiah 1 7 but the Lord said to me do not say I am a youth for you shall go to all to whom I send you and whatever I command you you shall speak Jeremiah 29 5 build houses and dwell in them plant gardens and eat their fruit okay here's the message overthrow of the government is coming wake up children war is coming martial law is coming exile is coming pandemic is coming famine is coming natural disasters are here and they're going to increase tenfold watch for me and look at my signs i'm showing you my true dates purim is coming passover is coming my calendar's true dates will be revealed soon a movie will be released still in production not publicized yet will be marketed soon look at my true dates how they will be revealed 
truth. The enemy always reveals their plans. If you are looking for it, you will see it. Open your eyes, child. It will be right in front of you, staring at you to your face. Once you know my true calendar, you will know time is very short. Your redemption draws nigh. Keep looking up. Your Adonai, your Redeemer and Rescuer has spoken. <sighs> oh, come on, Lord. Give me strength. Give me strength to finish this. Okay, Deuteronomy 3, 5. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars besides great many rural towns. Leviticus 3, 7. If he offers a lamb as his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. Philippians 1, 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Job 18, 9. The net takes him by the heel, and a snare lays hold of him. Job 14.5 Since his days are determined, the number of his months is with you. You have appointed his limit so that he cannot pass. Genesis 11.3 Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. Whew. Okay, I can do it. Um, another message. My child, I'm coming. Lights will be everywhere in the sky. It will light up like 4th of July. The northern lights will be colorful, emerald green. Wait for my coming. The north lit up and broken off. Map severed. Darkness falls, trumpets sound. Obama will rise and desolation will start. Time is short. The ninth hour is coming soon. Look at the clock. Does it tell time? Does it ring true? Look at the stars. The constellation is upside down. Virgo moon at her feet. Pisces, Leo, trumpets. My church redeemed. My hour is here. Keep watch. Listen to my prophets. They speak truth. Israel's moon. Israel's hour. The dawn is breaking. Crash into Aries. Look up. I love you, my children. Believe in me. Trust in me. And I will show you your path and guide. Leading your every step. Faith will save you. Shalom. I am your prince of peace. Let me save you. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, and Mordecai had faith. Abraham, Elijah, Joseph trusted me. Will you have faith? Will you trust in me? Faith, that's all you need. Let me save you. Worship me. Don't bow down to other gods. Samurai, the sword punishes the world. Holocaust, Nero punished the Jews. I saved them and they still worship other gods. Colossian, or Revelation 15, 6. And out the temple came the seven angels, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, and having their chests girded with golden bands. Colossians 1, 11. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. 1 Samuel 2, 5. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, and the hungry have seized a hunger. Even the barren has borne seven, and she who has many children has become feeble. Ezra 4.11 This is a copy of the letter they had sent him. The king Artaxerxes from your servants, the men of the region beyond the river, and so forth. Philippians 3.9 and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ. The righteousness which is from God by faith. Malachi 2.8 But you have departed from the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Oh. Here's another message. Tip of the iceberg, snow falls. April showers brings May flowers. The flowers will bloom. The tree branches of the almond tree will wither. The one world system will unite the whole world. One currency, a worldwide digital system. The mark will be a scan card in the palm of your hand. On your forehead, UV light is a machine set up through electronics charging your cells for DNA mechanisms through gene manipulation. The food will manipulate your DNA, all set up by the elite to control the population. It's coming. Harpazo, the call of the dinner bell, unites my wedding party. 
Put on your wedding garments, summer is near. First comes rain, then comes war, then the missing, darkness, chaos, and destruction. Judges 3.12 And the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord, so the Lord strengthened Eglon, king of Moab, against Israel because they had done every evil in the sight of the Lord. 2 John 1 9. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. Ooh, okay. Yes. Jude 1 5. But I want to remind you. Though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward, destroyed those who did not believe. 1 Corinthians 1 7. So that you come short and no gift, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 83 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. They form a confederacy against you. Proverbs 16 3. Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. Stephen Acts of the Apostles, Acts 6 5. And the say pleased the whole multitude. <sighs> and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch. Hebrews 6 11. And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Hebrews 3 5. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of these things which would be spoken afterward. Jude 2 5. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Ezra 1 4. And every and whoever is left in any place where he dwells, let the men of God let the men of his place help him with silver and gold, with goods and livestock, beside the free will offerings for the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. Daniel 1 6. Now, from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Asariah. Lamentations 3 5. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and woe. Jeremiah 1 12. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. Um, this Esther 6 3. Then the king said, What honor and dignity have been bestowed on Mordecai for this? And the king's servants who attended him said, Nothing has been done for him. Okay. Malachi. Back for a minute. Malachi 5 3 through 9. Whew. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. I'm like struggling here all of a sudden. Oh, okay. And I will come near you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against sorcerers, against adulterers, against perjurers, against those who exploit wage earners and widows and orphans, and against those who turn away an alien, which is a stranger. Because they do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. Yet from the days of our fathers you have gone away from my ordinances, have not kept them. Return to me, and I return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, In what way shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, In what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings, you are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Leviticus 1 8. Then the priest Aaron's son shall lay the parts and head in the fat and order on the wood that is on the fire upon the altar. Oh, okay. March 28th. Jeremiah 1 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Ecclesiastes 3 7. A time to tear and a time to sow and a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Job 2 5. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh and he will surely curse you to your face. Ephesians 1 6. To the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved okay here's the message my child destruction is coming look up redemption draws nigh do you feel me close to you pouring my spirit out on on all flesh do you feel that tug in your heart that is me do you feel my presence i'm trying to wake you up i'm trying to save you doors closing do you know me do i know you have you prayed to me have you Ask for my forgiveness. Why are you denying me, child? Your soul is in my hands and you still reject me. Earthquakes tenfold over eight coming soon. The world is perishing. Do you want to go with it? 
your evil desires haunt your soul you're foolish and you're den in denial and i'm the only one who can save you from this foolishness you blasphemous child how dare you scoff at your neighbor don't you know i created all of you we are all one spirit i told you they mock everything i have created everything they do is upside down to try and create doubt and confusion in your mind but i created you and i can make you whole again ask your gods the one you pray to to help you your idols won't save you you seek fire and brimstone wisconsin fire coming they will need water also new jersey train tracks breaks train derails the shaking is coming you still doubt my prophets cyclones coming to south of georgia east coast and east coast will get hit New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Myrtle Beach, Maryland, Washington, D.C. They will see cyclones, which is weird, but I am making my presence known. Can you feel my presence or are you still going to doubt me? Oh, my wicked child. Oh, how I wish you'd come to me and let me give you rest. You choose to ignore my warnings instead of heeding them. My wrath no man has seen and you don't want to stay be behind for it no christian can survive the great tribulation unless i have sealed them with my protection oh you degenerate fools you will perish where you stand if you wish to seek me and believe me i will forgive you and give you another chance repent and lay down your idols and i will save you i am gentle and loving but i'm also a wrathful god and i will not be mocked I can literally take a cat nap right now. Okay. Ephesians 2, 5. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Isaiah 9, 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward. Even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Zechariah 9, 6. Say to all the people of the land and to the priests, when you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh months during those 70 years, did you really fast for me? For me. Deuteronomy 12, 8. You shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. Leviticus 3, 7, if he offers a lamb as his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. Leviticus 4, 5, then the anointed priest shall take some of the blood, bull's blood and bring it to the tabernacle of meeting. Philippians 2, 9, therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. Colossians 1, 4, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. 1 Thessalonians 3, 8, <clears throat> for now we live, we stand fast in the Lord. 1 Timothy 2, 7, for which I was appointed a preacher and apostle, I'm speaking the truth in Christ and not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. John 5, 9. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked, and that day was the Sabbath. He answered, uh, John five eleven. he answered them, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. I feel like I need to do some jumping jacks or something. Ugh, reading, reading always makes me so tired. <laughs> and I've been reading for two hours and 27 minutes. My voice is leaving to just take a little break. Hold on. Okay, here's another message. My child, they have twisted my words. They made what was good evil. My signs in heavens, they have turned them upside down. They turned my original signs from the beginning and converted them to sorcery and witchcraft. O oh, children, you're full of pride and arrogance, and you will perish for those reasons. The Pharisees were full of pride and arrogance, but they didn't have any love in their hearts. They were all about that they could get and how they looked to the people. Have you done what I've told you to do? Were you obedient to me, or were you worried about what your neighbor would think? This world is passing by, and if you're stuck in it, you will burn in it. Fire and brimstone is what you seek. My patience is running out. The ones who do not believe will perish and will face my wrath. My church will escape my wrath. They have endured to the end by not worshiping Lucifer. Don't twist my words. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and show you truth. 
You do not lean on your own understanding of what my word means. Your knowledge will never equal to the amount of what the Holy Spirit can tell you. My children, you will perish for your lack of knowledge. Colossians 2.11 In him you were also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Jeremiah 9.11 I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a den of jackals that will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Leviticus 4, 6. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before the Lord in front of the veil of the sanctuary. James 1, 7. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. Esther 5, 8. If I have found favor in the sight of the king and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, then let the king and Haman... Come to the banquet which I prepare for them, and tomorrow I'll do as the king has said. <sighs> Ezra 2 3. The people of Pharaoh 2172. Jude 1 4. For certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked for his con condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God from our Lord Jesus Christ. Habakkuk 1 9. They all came for violence. Their faces are set like the east wind. They gather captives like sand. Luke 2, 9. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And I think the other one, did I say Luke 2, 9 twice? Because it was Habakkuk 1, 9. <sighs> First Peter 3, 8. Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another, Love as brothers, be tender-hearted, be courteous. Oh, goodness. Why am I struggling? Oh, this might be the last message. Thank you, Lord. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm, like, falling asleep. I'm one of those weirdos that, like, I can literally get um, in a car and fall asleep in two seconds. So I've fallen asleep so many times in my Bible because when I read, it just makes me so tired. Um, so I apologize for the closing my eyes so much. My, my husband, when he used to have a motorcycle, I was on the back seat and it was so warm. I would fall asleep and accidentally lean forward. He was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm sorry, it was comfortable and warm. Okay, March 30th, 2023, 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Revelation 5, 7. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Joshua 3, 8. You shall command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When you have come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, you shall stand in the Jordan. Leviticus 1 9 but he shall wash its entrails and its legs with water and the priest shall burn all on the altars of burnt sacrifice and offering made by fire a sweet aroma to the Lord Job 7 4 when I lie down I say when shall I rise and the night be ended for I have had my fill of tossing till dawn Colossians 1 7 as you also learned from Ephraphaz our dear fellow servant who is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf Okay, I gotta take my boots off, my rain boots. Are they cute? I just got these the other day for my birthday. March 26th, it was my, it was my birthday present to myself. I haven't shopped in a while. Lord kind of took that habit away from me. Okay, here's the message, my child. Chaos and destruction. Nukes, my child. Nukes. The enemy has already set a date. It's soon, my child. It's soon. My door is open for the ones who believe in me. The feast is being prepared. Tsunami coming. It's going to affect the East Coast. When the nukes go up, you go up. Lots of chaos and destruction after. Great earthquake in California, 8.3, which will sever the map. Tsunami on the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean island. Yellowstone will erupt. Terror in the cities. Calamity in the streets. Rage by the people towards the government when martial law commences. Oh, the horror. 
who have ears to hear, let them hear. Time is short. The movie will be released and you will know when and what season we're in. The birds will be flying in circles. The animals will act strange. My vengeance is coming. My wrath is about to pour down on every city. Oh, how you wish you had listened. My witnesses will be my martyrs. They will die for my glory. Unfortunately, it will be too late for them. They could have escaped my wrath by trusting in me, but they did not yield and heed my warnings. Train derailments. Fifteen more cities are going to be hit very soon. Chemical spills. Radioactive plants exploding. Virginia's plant will be destroyed. My wicked children, your blasphemy sickens me and enrages my loins. How dare you mock me and my prophets, my dreamers, my visionaries, my children with words of knowledge. My people are spreading the good news, my gospel. You are despicable and graceless. I have my sword coming for you. I am enraged at your lack of empathy, your obedience, and your disgrace to mankind's existence. Wake up, children. The beast has risen, and when martial law commences, he will be well-known and running the show. Barack Obama is behind it all. The, the spirit of Antichrist will fall on him, and the world will be no more. Calamity, justice, and rage. The dawn breaks. Israel's moon tells the time. My hour is here, and trumpets will shout. Watch my movie. It's coming. I give you these things for a reason. Excuse me. Everything I say means something. Why do you reject my words? Hold this up. Try to... <laughs> Try to fall asleep. You are selfish and ambiguous, and I will not stand for the mockery. It is finished. I have completed my will for you. I died on the cross for you. I shed my blood and all you have is contempt for me. Oh, you little faith, the angels are singing, lined up and ready to blow. The clock, tick tock, it means something. Listener, pay attention. The world shuts down. Stock market crashes. Bank switches over to digital currency. Martial law commences and beast systems set up. Darkness falls and you are no longer under my protection. The only ones protected are sealed. He's talking about um, Israel. I believe. Pay attention to the movies, the TV shows. They show you what's coming. The witnesses have power. They have to reveal their plans in a subtle way before they do it. But it's no longer subtle. It's in your face. And most of you still can't see it. You are stuck in this world and you can't love me and this world. Choose. I gave you free will. I wish for no one to perish. You come to me and I will give you rest. My church comes to me. They worship me. They love me. I hear them praising my name. Oh, how that pleases me. They are truly my chosen ones. Their days will be shortened. Your days could be shortened if you would believe in me. Lay down your idols and worship no other gods but me. Confess your sins to me. Let me love you. I will carry your burdens for you. Deception, alien deception, will explain the missing. Don't be fooled. There's no aliens, just fallen angels. Nephilims, do you see now how they are trying to erase the races? It's all part of their plan. Hooked up to machines and no longer created in my image. Don't be fooled by their malicious evil mockery. They are a disgrace to me and they are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Wake up, children. The elite will destroy everything I have created. I will allow them at first, but after my judgment commences, I will create a whole new world. Armageddon is here. Watch how I make the enemies fall. First Thessalonians 3, 6. But now that Timothy has come to us from you and brought us good news of your faith and love and that you always have good remembrance of us, greatly desiring to see us as we also to see you. Jeremiah 1, 8. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Colossians 1, 11. Strengthen with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy. Hebrews 6, 8, but it bears thorns and briars and is rejected and near to being cursed. Whose end is to be burned? Proverbs 14, 3. In the mouth of a fool is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. Esther 5, 7. Then Esther answered and said, my petition and request is this. Ezekiel 19, 3. She brought up one of her cubs and became a young lion. He learned to catch prey and he devoured men. 
uh, Daniel 1 7 to them the chief of the eunuchs gave names he gave Daniel the name Belethesazar to Haniah Shadrach to Meshach Meshach and to Azariah Abednego two more pages yay <laughs> Daniel 5 4 they drank wine and praised the gods of gold and silver bronze and iron wood and stone Deuteronomy 8, 6, Therefore you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear him. Revelation 7, 4, And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of the tribes of all the children were sealed, of Israel were sealed. 1 Corinthians 3, 8, Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor. Okay, here's the message. Ephraim, the tribe of Judah. Ephraim. Um, I think the tribe of Judah. I have revealed who the descendants are. Pay attention to the outliners and the judgments. I speak and have different meanings on each one. Israel, my previous people, I will defend them until calamity starts. The one sealed will always be under my protection. Do you see what's happening? The Arabs of money will attack. The evil ruler king, the descendant of Greece, is rising. Nothing is what it seems. Don't be fooled by the media. Chaos, destruction has started. Protests in the street. A new governor lines up for catalyst destruction. Get behind enemy lines and make a way for Yasser Arafat. And yes, I know he's dead, so I don't know what the Lord means by that. He will be the new ruler. The clock will strike, then time's up. Nukes fall down and Germany will get hit. Iran takes out Guatemala and the providence of Rhode Island will fall. No more coalition and the naval base breaks up. Heed these warnings, children. I'm coming. Keep looking up. Redemption draws nigh. I'm your Abba, your Adonai, your Jehovah, your rescuer and deliverer and your Messiah. And I have spoken. First Chronicles 2.18 Caleb, the son of Hezron, had children of Ezubah, his wife, and by Jerioth. Now these were her sons, Shesar, Shobab, and Ardon. First Chronicles, no, sorry, Nahum 3, 5. Behold, I am against you, says the Lord of hosts. I will lift your skirts over your face. I will show the nations your nakedness and the kingdoms of your shame. Nehemiah 1, 7. We have acted very corruptly against you and have not kept the commandments, the statutes, nor the ordinance, which is you command your servant... Moses, Lamentations 3.40, let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to the Lord. Judges 9.3, and this mother's brother spoke of all these words concerning him in the hearing of all the men of Shechem, and their heart was inclined to follow Abimelech, for they said, he is our brother. First Kings 3.17, one woman said, oh my Lord, this woman, I dwell in the same house. I gave birth while she was in the house. Oh, oh my goodness. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. That was Philippians 4, 5. Philippians 2, 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Malachi 1, 5. Your eyes shall see and you shall say the Lord is magnified beyond the border of Israel. 1 Peter 2, 7. Therefore to you who believe he is precious, but those to our disobedient, the stone which the builders reject has become the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm finished. <laughs> All right. Jesus, you're amazing. Thank you so much for saving us and dying for us. And, you know, I just pray everyone out there who doesn't know you and doesn't have a relationship with you, that they come to you, Lord, and that every word that your people are speaking, that they're speaking your truth and they're spreading the gospel, not just your wrath. And they're just trying to wake people up. We just pray that you keep pouring your spirit out on everybody and just wake up your children, Lord, before you come, because we know it's soon. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, guys, <clears throat> and someone um, requested that I do a little song, you know, after my things. <sighs> I'm so tired, I'm going to try. I'll sing a little bit because the, the Lord is awesome. <clears throat> um I love you, Lord, though your mercy never fails me. In all my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up 
Until I lay my head, I'm gonna sing the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. Oh, the Jesus clock went off. <laughs> Here through the wall. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I'm gonna sing the goodness of God. I think I know the second verse. I love your voice. It has led me through the fire. In darkness nights, I am close to one, the other. I don't know all the words. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I'm gonna sing the goodness of God. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm like half asleep now and I've read for two hours and 45 minutes. So my voice is like gone. I sound like a frog. Um, anyway, the Lord is awesome. And if you don't know him, you know, ask him to come into your life. Um, believe that he died for you guys because he did. He died to take away our sins and just it's your faith. And it's his grace. It's a free gift. Just believe in him. Walk in the spirit. Because when you walk in the spirit, you are led by the spirit, which is life. And when you walk in the flesh, you're led by death, which is sin. And, you know, we all fall short. And I have this one memorized, Romans 3.23. We all fall short from his glory. Um, so we just have to keep looking up. And when you're struggling with something... You know, it's always good to fast and pray and worship and ask Jesus to take that burden from you. That's what he's there for. You know, ask him to help you with that sin that you've been struggling with. Because he doesn't, you know, God is holy. And, but he loves us and he doesn't want anyone to perish. And when you're truly under him and you put all your faith in Christ... You know, you're going to want to walk in the spirit. You're going to want to please him. And when you mess up, you know, you're not, he didn't come to condemn the world. He come to save the world. So when you mess up, it's not like you're going to lose your salvation. You know, and repentance is a change of mind. So I don't believe if you forgot to say one sin that you did, that you forgot to repent for, you would perish. I don't believe that at all. Our God is a loving God. And when you truly know the love of the Father, you know that He loves us. And I feel the Holy Spirit chills right now. And, you know, I guess that's it. I'm kind of tired. So, <laughs> but basically, just trust in Jesus. That's all you got to do, guys. Just trust in Jesus because He's never left you, He's always been there. Okay, I gotta go to bed. I was up late last night till like 2 and then I had to get up early this morning. And I just really haven't had much sleep, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. Okay, God bless you guys. Thank you for listening.